All right. Um, I think we should probably um, go through, uh, uh, do some printing. So now we've got our sheet set up. We've got our views on there. We've got a nice 3D view. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's do a, a print set. And I'm, I'm going to print to a PDF. So I'm going to, and Revit uses the Windows printer. So I'm, I'm going to go in here. I probably want to have done a save. And then I'm going to say print. And I can go print setup, or I can do the print setup within the print um, button, and then we have our preview once we're set up. So we go into print. There's not a lot of options in Revit printing. Um, the first thing you want to do is pick your printer off of here, and be it a you know a physical printer or a PDF or however you want to do it, Microsoft XPS or. Oh, I should point out that using the Microsoft Print to PDF really uh, at this point in time doesn't work very good at all. Stay away from this particular driver. Um, and from there, I am going to go to my setup button. And this is where you say the sheet size and everything else. So I'm going to say, OK, this is all good. It's not going to be a letter size. It's going to be, um, I'm looking for a metric. Uh, right here, A0. So that's the size. And uh, center, it is good. Fit to page, no, I want to zoom to 100%. Quality, uh, I, don't, I only need medium, medium quality. And color is nice, actually. I'm going to print in color. Uh, more and more nowadays, I'm printing in color. In fact, I use color all the time with for my grids and my elevation, or sorry, my grids and my levels and my dimensions and text and stuff really makes a difference when you add color to it and it's getting cheaper to print color nowadays and and again i can go in here and say okay save as and i'm going to call this you know my a0 and then i can pick it off this list later on and i don't have to change any of this stuff down inside of here so there's my page setup hit okay and what i'm going to do is leave this on current view and say preview because i'm in a sheet view don't do this from not within sheet view Okay, and that doesn't look the greatest. Uh, let's go back to the print option here. I think that is, oh, that's because it's doing all that brick, eh? Yeah. So I don't know if I could probably go with that. If you zoom in, it won't be all black. Um, I think I'm going to just see what that does. Uh, might really slow down the, 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 the printer if you try to send it to the printer, uh, I'll just carry on and say, okay, that, that at least, you know, the, the size is the key thing. The fact that my hatch patterns are kind of coming in dark here, but um, if I zoom in, believe it or not, okay, uh, oops, zoomed out again, um, it is showing the brick. And I can't seem to, there we go, scrolling. So you can see it's really slowing it down. So I'm going to go back and hit the print button. And I'm going to change this to say select sheets. I'm going to hit select. I don't want to print all the views, although you can. You take this off and you say check all, which means all my sheets. I can also do again, do a save as and call it, you know, full set. So I don't have to do that again. Okay and hit OK, and then I just hit OK, and off I go. And ah, the wonderful message. You know what? When I'm using PDF or different drivers, when you switch from current view to selected sheets, it switches from combine multiple to create separate files. So it warns you, and this is a really good one, because if you've got like 60 sheets it, and it doesn't warn you it'll actually you can't stop it you got to let it run through its course it's horrible so it's warning us you have chosen four sheets as separate files do you wish to continue no you want to make sure that you change this back then you hit okay now it's going to generate that pdf for us and there we have it uh and i can give it a name I don't need to get it's giving defaulting to the name of the file. 
zero one um, you know I will just write the date and hit save and that's it now we have our PDF file so if I open that up, there it is. Not much in there at this point, but we do have a, a, a four sheet PDF. I'm just wheeling down, okay? And that is our um, first run of sheets. So now as you add more sheets, right click, new sheet, new sheet, you start adding all your views onto there. Um, then all you have to do is when you go back into here, you always have to make sure you're in the view here don't just don't pick out here and then say print because it won't it, you need to make sure that you're in this view literally in this view then when you go up here and do print otherwise you'll run into problems then all you have to do is adjust this and say select and then you'll see all the new sheets you've added make sure you check them off and then just save it as full set so you're constantly um, saving this as the full set as you add new sheets and then inevitably you have all your sheets and then you're going back and working same as with this you don't have to do too much you might have a, an AO size or a reduced size or 11 by 17 or a different size uh, saved where you do actually use um, fit to page or zoom to 50% or 40% or 30% so if you want to do a reduced set you need to find the magic number in here. Fit to page, I find, just leaves almost too much of a, a buffer around it. I like to have a little less edge. So I always kind of try to find that magic number to shrink it, play with this stuff, and save it. So that's in under your setup. And then this is the printer setting here. So you can also hit properties and change that, depending if you, you know, switch to a different printer, an actual physical printer, then you can go and hit the properties on here and change that as well. And that'll also affect what happens when you go into set up here, the printer here will reflect what you see when you go into setup as you go through. So there's our um, printing lesson um, with our A0 sheet sizes.